So Dokkan has just released a brand new LR Super Saiyan Trio, as the community is calling them. But this is Super Saiyan Goku, Gohan, and Trunks. And they do have a standby that allows them to switch over to Super Saiyan Goku. If you couldn't tell already, this is based off of Movie 8 of the Dragon Ball Z movies, which is Broly, right? Um, this is a Goku that has not actually been represented in the game, like, ever. This is literally the first time we've gotten this Super Saiyan Goku, which is kind of crazy to consider <laughs> like uh that a super saiyan goku from a broly movie never got a representation wild right now this character of course all right it's very, very powerful. We're going to go ahead and break down their details right now. Then we're going to take them into a couple of different events. We're going to focus on the pre-standby first. And then once we actually get the standby out, then I'll break down that detail of or that side of that character too. Anyways, this character is a category leader for All Out Struggle, Super Saiyans, or Power of Wishes. Key 3 and 170% to HP attack and defense. Then they get an additional 30% HP attack and defense to characters who belong into the movie heroes or connected hope categories on top of the previous ones. So I think overall it's a very strong team. All Out Struggle has some hidden gems in there that you wouldn't like. You could think of the category All Out Struggle, but you know, there's it Blue Evolution Vegeta, there is Physical Blue Cow Ken Goku and Evolution Vegeta, uh, those two characters EZA during the ninth anniversary. There is the GT duo, which could still be useful. The Dragon Ball Z duo could still be useful, right? We're going to use them actually in this first fight. Super Saiyans has a lot of good characters. Power Witches has a lot of good characters, right? You know, those categories have been kind of residually, like, over time, they've been puffed, buffed, I said puffed, buffed the past two years, which is really good. Super attack effects, the 12 key is nothing crazy. An attack race for the turn, and they have a attack and defense debuff to the enemy. Could be useful in certain scenarios. Now, their 18 key is really strong, though. They give a 50% attack and defense race for three turns to themselves. Then they also do raise super class allies 30% attack and defense for one turn, which is a lot. Uh, in terms of defense, especially, the attack raise is okay, but the defense raise a 30% super attack effect raise essentially. Like, let's say if a unit already has a 30% defense raise on their super attack, now it's a 60% raise, and that is a pure multiplicative buff for defense, which is just a nice rule. Good thing to have, especially because this unit is able to really sense on one. Now, to highlight the important parts of their kits, uh, we do know, of course, they just have the baseline of key 3 and 200% attack and defense. When you get 12 key or more, they get 150% attack when, you know, they're, uh, yeah, that kind of counts when attacking, so it is a multiplicative buff. Then, in terms of their defense stat, they get 30% defense when receiving an attack for every 3 key. That, I believe, that's not like every 3 key spheres collected, right? That's every 3 key they're at. So at 24 key, this card gets 240% defense, if I'm not mistaken. Um, that is also a multiplicate above. So let's say, again, they're at the, this is the 77% uh, one, but they're at 279% uh, one, my bad. They're at 276k defense. That gets multiplied by 240%. So that more than like quadruples <laughs> in terms of the defense stat, right? It, it'll shoot that 270k up to well beyond a million defense. So that's really good. They have 15% damage reduction and give all allies 77% defense for two turns if there's a movie heroes or all out struggle category ally attacking in the same turn. So you're able to stack that for two turns, right? There's one this rotation, there's one next rotation, which is going to be mine. Mine is full level of 10, 10 links, by the way. That's 154% defense support. On top of that, they give all eyes key three and 50% attack, self excluded. That's only on their rotation, though, but that's still a key three and 50% attack buff. Really, really good. Uh, the last three things are just kind of just separate. They get 30% damage reduction specifically when receiving a super attack, only against a super attack that is a temporarily the temporary buff but that means against super attacks they have 45 percent damage reduction which is a i think an, a pretty decent number considering the amount of defense they have considering the amount of support they're providing they get two additional attacks each of which have a high chance to be a super attack when keys 18 or more we can go ahead and just grab this um should i keep the super saiyan duo here i think i'll keep god goku and the reason why i'll keep god goku is because he creates physical key spheres which i think could be um it could be a useful thing, right? Then, furthermore, they're super effective against all types. 
when they hit 24 key, which, you know, we'll definitely take that. So this one is hitting a 14 mil attack stat. Again, this is the 79% one. We're missing some links like, you know, legendary power. Uh, I think they do actually have the, um, they do have Kamehameha. They don't actually, they have Z fighters, which is not really a link you'll see too often. Funny enough, I think Saiyan Warrior Race, God Goku also does not have that link. If I'm not mistaken, uh, Super Saiyan God Goku is missing that link. The Dragon Ball Z duo also don't do have that link though. Maybe I should have linked them up with him just in terms of link partners, right? But God Goku providing those physical orbs could be really helpful, especially once we get into the standby portion. Now, in terms of the condition for the standby, it's really good. It's either when you're under 77% HP at any point in the battle, it could be turn one, it could be turn two. Uh, if you fall under 77% HP, you could use the standby skill. Or alternatively, if you actually do end up um, on turn five, just turn five and start a battle, which is really good. It's not turn five from their entry turn, it's turn five from start a battle. So mine was actually in slot seven. So because of that, I'm still going to be able to use the standby skill on turn five, which is really, really, really good. Uh, it, it really makes a huge difference in these battles, being able to get it just on that turn specifically. We'll probably keep Bulma here. Yeah, we'll, we'll just keep Bulma here. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Uh, uh, yeah, because GT Duo, they need to get hit four times. They might re not really be as much of a use, but I want to keep Bulma for the multi-turn support. Then we'll keep the Super Saiyan Trio after. I think that character, again, gets hugely buffed from the amount of defense support that we're going to be giving everyone. So we'll just give you all these, right? Bulma, we want to get five key spheres, which is very easy to get there. And uh, yeah, so just taking a quick look at the hidden potential system for mine. Mine's at, again, full level 10 links. 14 crit and 3 dodge. I am giving them placeholder equipment for now. I think these equips could obviously be better, but we do know that they're going to get special equipments later on. I mean, I think it's literally like in on the third, right? So with those special equipments, this character will actually end up looking a lot better. So you want to make sure that uh, they're able to get those equips. Again, we're missing a good amount of links. Still overall, like Super Saiyan, we're missing... Um, saying we're a race that can give this guy more attack right but shooting out a 14.3 mil attack stat with just one dupe considering the amount of support that they're doing right and they're super effective it's not bad at all um if we consider everything that they're doing and they can sit in slot one in a good amount of these fights yeah and keep in mind they're also providing 30 percent defense to everyone else on the rotation so that's really really good there we see a nice triple super there so that was what 14 mil then two nine mil attack stats yeah, that's pretty good, I would say. Um, I definitely like what I'm seeing here. They should eat this super attack very well. The super attack hits for under 2 million, I believe. So, I mean, they're not actually going to really take a lot of damage from here. How double digits, yeah. That super attack, I mean, this fight isn't really a difficult fight anymore. Like, I think Beast Gohan could be very annoying against certain teams. For sure, 100% that could happen. It's mostly the physical fight that locks you, then stuns you on super. Very annoying. But what I would say is that if we consider um, the fact, I just want to like ease into it firstly for most, right? And that's why I'm also using these other characters kind of around him. I will likely be able to use these characters in other fights as well because of the support. But I just wanted to make sure we kind of started off a little lighter, right? Before heading into like, blue illusion vegeta or something like that you know what i mean all right so we'll just continue to make sure we hit the 24 key and unfortunately i probably will have to grab all of these broly trio ideally i also get max key with them if i do this i can get an extra link i believe with legendary power but we'll just do this here god goku six orbs would be cool yeah, but Broly Trio is not going to be able to get their seven key spheres, unfortunately for them. Uh, yeah, but I want to make sure I get God Goku's dodge. I think that'll be more useful. Yeah, I see that didn't line up. Unfortunately, I can't get any rainbow key spheres either. I think I'll just grab the EGO key spheres. That will also support defensively. Uh, no, that's offensive support. Yeah, I'll go with this, actually. I'll, I'll miss out on the offense support just so Broly Trio could have some extra defense there. They do still have the 50% chance to dodge, but it'll be a little a little scary. Just a, just a teeny tiny bit scary. Um, but they should be fine overall. 
Uh, I'm expecting them to still be fine. Especially as long as they don't get supered or get hit by super, we'll be good to go. If Ultimate Gohan wants to super right there instantly, that would be great. That would really be preferred, actually. Um, if the he wants to be, if he wants to be nice, a nice little fellow, he could definitely do that. We're gonna have. Um, I guess I'll keep the Super Saiyan three Goku and Super Saiyan two Vegeta. Even though I'll be pushing off Bulma, which will suck. Ooh, Cord, please do not do this. Okay, well, my Cord is being a little silly. Um, it happens sometimes, right? If I'm recording for too long, I just finished my hour-long Broly showcase. That that showcase ended up being like an hour long. So yeah, uh, you can see the issues here. Um, I think we're good now. <laughs> chat guys uh the chat is something i say now I, I don't know what to do it just happens like I, i'm not I, like if i could just go perfect with, in, in any video just without issues that'd be awesome but unfortunately that's not reality uh the world is very harsh okay we do not finish this turn i also cannot see if we got super attacked yet um we'll be fine i, I think we'll be okay if we die i'll just cut until we come back here and that'll be fine too right as long as we could survive to next turn. I actually think I will use the standby skill next turn. And then we could just nuke the Beast Gohan phase. We'll have to have one phase where we kind of have to worry about things a little bit. But I don't think it's going to be like the biggest thing ever. Again, as long as they dodge the super, if they get hit by a super. No super attack, huh? They took double digit normals. We'll take that for sure. Yeah, okay. We will use the standby skill here and we'll actually receive a lot of hits so let's go ahead and get this out here and i think we'll be looking really really good I'm trying to make sure the audio is good, but there is the Super Saiyan Goku. So, of course, like any other standby, this guy cannot attack. Breaking down his details here. Unable to attack, except when finish skills activated. But he does have key 3 and 259% attack and defense. Changes in key spheres to physical key spheres. Gets 2 key per physical key sphere obtained and 1 key per non-physical key sphere obtained. That is important because he has the same mechanic as pre-exchange where he gets 30% defense when receiving an attack for every 3 key. Then if key is 24 when he receives an attack, he also gets 59% damage reduction, which is a lot higher than previously. So this guy is going to be an extremely good tank. He does get 20% defense per key sphere obtained on top of everything else. Then all allies get 7% defense for two turns per physical key sphere he obtains, man. So, I mean, we're going to grab all this. That's 10. That He's giving all allies 70% defense still. Not as strong as a 77%, but it's still fine. It's a very close to what he's doing. If you can get like 14 key spheres, he'll be supporting even more than he would at pre-exchange, which is awesome. Now, how this guy's standby works is he gets different charge accounts per like the different conditions he gets three charge counts per attack this guy receives he gets two charge counts per physical key sphere obtained by allies which does include himself then one charge count per non-physical key sphere obtained by allies so all that considering even though it's only a three turn thing he's able to get a lot of charge counts very easily um we'll actually go ahead and grab uh, these 13 key spheres again they count rainbow key spheres as well bam and then a boma we'll still grab six here i think that's fine goku's now gonna start getting hit here and there we go we see he's um he's guarding as well right wait he's guarding i forgot that he's guarding let me take a look here yeah he does guard all attacks so yeah he's very invincible <laughs> i actually forgot completely that he guarded <laughs> so there you go uh he's also guarding which is really really good on top of everything else i mean he's pretty much invincible i thought it shows defense stat but it really doesn't matter because with the 59 percent damage reduction plus the guard plus the amount of defense he gets when receiving an attack he's like probably 1.5 at least maybe closer to two mil defense like he he, he doesn't take damage right I, I might be underestimating that as well the amount of actual like damage he will take I do have Sensu Beans though. Uh, I, I wanted to point that out because I will be using a Sensu Bean to make sure that we could have the correct unit in slot one. That would be ideal. Um, God Goku right there. Perfect. Could I use the standby for the Goku? Or yeah, I can use that. 
I might use that here just so we could have like a really good, just in case we die. We'll use that here, right? Just, just in case. I don't think this will lead us to win this fight specifically. I hope not. Actually, uh, maybe using it is not the smartest idea. Because if I kill, that'll suck a lot. Yeah, I'm going to reset because I don't want to accidentally kill. And then, um, yeah, if, if we do that. Well, this guy might get stunned anyways. I, nah, I don't want to, I don't want to accidentally kill just in case. Yeah, again, I, I would rather not risk it. We want to make sure we grab as many physical keysters as possible. So I'll make sure I get all of these with you. God, Goku, we want to prioritize six keyspheres over the uh, physical ones. We'll grab this. Okay, well, thanks, Gord. You know, sometimes, <laughs> you know, it's, it's just going to be a thing that happens right here. We can still get a lot of keyspheres, though, even though they're not physical. So that's going to be even more charge counts. Ideally, B's going to super in the front so we can see how hard that's going to hit. Uh, I think it's going to be looking pretty good overall. Um, they should eat this pretty well, honestly. Like, even that, this should be a really good tank. Let's see. Yeah, double digits. There we go. <laughs> Very simple double digit damage right there. Now, we couldn't see them attack, unfortunately, because it is Beast Gohan stunning. But, man, that is... um. That is a really good look for them, for sure. I mean, that Beast Gohan Super still hits for 3 mil. It's still like a 3 mil damage super attack. So them eating that just in slot 1 for double digits is still relatively impressive. And they could probably tank that even better. Or like, in, because we don't we don't have any other support. Like if we had Bomo support active, for instance, or anything like that. Um, the only support we have is the previous turn, which is, to be fair, still 77%. Or 70% defense support. But it's not like that's like going to be a thing we won't see commonly. I think pretty commonly you will actually be able to see that still. Which is really good. Um, Beast Gohan's going to probably get one shot I think by this standby skill. Is what I'm expecting. Now one thing I want to note is that the standby charge count. I saw a lot of people confused about this. Per attack received. That's only for that Goku specifically. It does not count allies attack received the only thing that also counts allies is the key spheres you collect right that's very very important to consider because i saw some people really confused uh in case you didn't know that's how that works could i put broly trail slot one i could put broly trail slot one no i can't dang it um because i would have liked to like grab more key spheres so we're at 97 charge counts right so if we do um let's say we put the calculator in here uh, I could I could get this and just risk it and see how much damage we do. And I will do that, actually, because this will also give an attack buff. Or this would give it a slightly higher attack buff, but this will give more key spheres. So we can grab this. Bam. We're at 103 charge counts. Just, just for the purpose of testing. When you're over 41 charge counts, you get the actual final finish skill. And it's 20% per charge. So if we do 103 times 20, that is 2,060% attack. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, let's see how hard he hits. All right, that did not come close to killing, which is actually surprising. I thought that would do a lot more damage. Um, so we will reset. Uh, we're just going to put him in saw one. Maybe they'll crit that time. Well, we'll, I guess you can say we'll do a little crit fishing. Why not? I realize Broly Trio is locked. Uh, so I'll just keep him there. We'll, we'll go for an auto run regardless. Broly Trio has my back, though. Uh, I just moved the characters around a few times just so we could see. Maybe he'll crit this time. Who knows? How's this going to look? Or actually, I could have um, just put him in slot three, actually, at this point. That would have done more damage, because how many physical orbs is that right there that we can get now? Um, That's actually quite a lot. Okay, wait, we're going to reset again. <laughs> 
Okay, this this is gonna be the last time I reset, guys. I promise this will be the last time I reset here. Uh, this will give us ten more, <laughs> and uh, we'll just that. Why not? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, I think even if I lose here, I'll be happy. I, I just I just wanted to make sure I satisfied myself. Ouch! <laughs> nice dodge, buddy. Uh, we are very likely dead here. That's okay with me, though. I think we saw what they could do. We saw they could eat the super. Um, I didn't manage... Like, I, I could have maybe managed my orbs better to make sure Broly Trio got the 7 keys for his next turn. That probably would have been more important. But uh, again, this is kind of me trying to focus on him. And yeah. Overall, bad play for Broly Trio, but good play in general. Um, we did dodge there. I don't think these guys would live a super attack and release at all. They're, they're pretty much just dead. Um, it is what it is. I mean, it's not like they got that many stacks. And they're not going to get to the point where they're at like 3 mil defense to tank. Especially missing that super attack right there. Uh, yeah, no. It's, it's over for these guys. But, uh, well, I mean, if I, I could have used a standby skill, but then I would have... Um, I, I wouldn't have been able to use standby skill, actually, unless I put them in slot 3 and use the finish skill first for the other guys. I mean, they're taking double digits. We'll definitely take that. Um, oh, Beast is not super. Hey, you know what? Actually, that works out. <laughs> really well. So that's a 17 mil attack stat for these guys. Sweet. Actually, that does work extremely well. Um, sweet. Next turn, we can get the GT Duo support and Bulma support, though. Ooh, wait, that's going to look really good for the other one. Yeah, okay, wait. This ended up being good still. <laughs> awesome. That's really good. 20 minutes on the Beast Gohan fight, I didn't expect. But to be fair, we also did break down the character kit and reset like three times, so. Hello, well. Um, uh, I could use the standby again, but I'm not going to. That'd be really fun if I do do that. We'll make sure we get this in here. Uh, but you know, the issue is that Beast Gohan's gonna super instantly anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Yeah, Beast, because Beast Gohan's just gonna super and uh, stun them regardless, so that's very funny. Oh, well, I mean, we could just hope that we... Does this friend have dodge by any chance? I don't know. Uh, no dodge, yeah. Uh, I don't... Like, additionals for this guy, I'm not really keen on, just because I don't think they need the extra additional. Yeah, see, like, uh, I could have dodged here and I could have done damage and killed. We could have seen a big attack set, but no, you just had to be silly. And build your character with additionals, not dodge. This character doesn't even need, like, more than, like, nine additional or something if you really wanted. Because they have two additional attacks. And they can't even do additionals when they're in the standby. <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't even get to scan more crit, <laughs> actually. Um, whatever. Okay, we'll move on next to probably the blue Gogeta fight. Yeah, that's a tough fight. All right, we're back here with the blue Gogeta fight for the Super Saiyan trio. Uh, I decided to change up the team a little just to keep things a little fresh. So we do have blue Gogeta. Now, the great thing about blue Gogeta is that even though he's a rainbow orb changer, he does only change specifically any type that's not physical. So we're able to keep all these physical orbs for this guy, which is really, really good. Uh, our rotations are looking pretty nice. I might actually push him off rotation. The reason why is so I can get the four attacks from the GT duo there, and we can make sure their standby is good to go. Along with that, it'll let Blue Gogeta just transform instantly on the fourth turn, which will be very good to see. So we'll go ahead and just give him all these key spheres right here. We'll give the GT Duo this so they can hit their 24 key requirement. Then, of course, we'll let Blue Gogeta get the rest of the orbs right here. So we'll go ahead and give you these key spheres right here. Ah, uh, Waxy! We'll just do that. Doesn't really matter. Let's, um... I guess saving physical orbs doesn't really mean too much here. We don't specifically always need them, but it'll just make it very easy to hit the 24 key. So we're starting up here at 14.2 mil attacks that again. Yeah, I mean, the good thing about them is that their damage, besides the additionals, isn't like... It's not like bad in most circumstances, considering, again, everything else they're doing. But like a flat out 14 mil attack stat, not crazy in this time day and age but again that is because they're a mega support character that like could could slot one they could they can very easily slot one and they're providing like gt duo right there 
they missed a super attack, but it's still like they're providing that super attack effect with the 30% defense. Very huge. Luckily, though, um, actually, I'm glad that they missed some supers because Blue Gogeta here will be able to get a stack, and I think he'll finish the rest of the job off here, which is a good thing. Um, now, some of you may be thinking, why are you bringing Orange Piccolo? I will show you guys once we're able to do it, hopefully. But Orange Piccolo, if you guys didn't know how it works, is what you do is you'll collect all the orbs with your characters, have Orange Piccolo in slot three. Then he goes into giant form. Then when you exit the giant form, the rotations reset, but you still change the orbs again. So you could collect two turns of key sphere field orbs. Now I don't have the new Vegeta Piccolo and uh, exchange unit, unfortunately. That that rotation with like that kind of setup would actually be really busted because you could potentially get two turns of tw literally a full key sphere of physical fear. I can't even speak. It's just crazy. You can get two turns of a nearly entire key sphere field of physical orbs which <laughs> if you guys are aware that adds a lot to the standby that adds a lot to the standby so that's why i'm very excited to go ahead and see if that will work um even in a rotation like this with god goku and the physical trio it counts the amount of orbs allies get as well so we still get a huge benefit no matter which rotation now these guys are actually showing off here the 79% one. I didn't check if this one specifically was in full links, um, but I guess the more important thing is that mine are. Yeah, I mean, if they do a turn like this, where it's a 14 mil into triple nine mil, right? That is, um, how much damage is that exactly? That's 18 mil plus the 14 mil. That's about 32 mil, 32 million, right? With super effective against all types. That's pretty chill. We'll definitely take that kind of damage, right? And uh, so far, we have not gone super attacked, actually. Will we finish off this phase? I think so. Bulma is getting her double super because we got the seven key spheres. And yeah, at this point, we're getting the double support with each rotation, which is going to be really nasty. <laughs> yeah, God Goku got a triple super. God Goku again, a little bit of a resurgence for this guy, I think, on this team. He's going to be working very, very well here. And that's because he's... He, I mean, he's a dodging guard character. His defense was starting to get to the point where he couldn't really even take normals well. And he kind of, he did become dodge or die. But now with these units that are providing 154% support over both rotations, uh, God Goku is going to be looking a lot better here. Orange Piccolo will be able to get hit twice in this rotation. We definitely will take that. Now, um, Gogeta is STR here, but I... Genuinely do not think that's an issue. I think we'll literally be perfectly fine here. We will we'll just give Orange Pickle of these orbs anyways. Why not? Doesn't really matter. Um we'll just give him the full key. And yeah, even with type disadvantage, these guys should live a super. So we're at 17 mil. Keep in mind we are getting Bulma support on this specific rotation, which is why we're hitting really that hard. Um I think next rotation I will use the standby with these guys yeah that should be good and we see my 14 crit build is showing off a little please super them right here no no super attack dang okay maybe next turn we'll see the super we'll also transform into blue gogeta blue gogeta will be cooking for us uh, and then the turn after we could use the standby skill worst case scenario um i think the super saiyan trio probably could live blue gogeta super maybe because that's 45 percent reduction that's 3.6, and if we take away basically half of that, that goes down to 1.8 mil. But that's also, we have to consider tap disadvantage. Free super, definitely not. Post super attack, I could see them living the Blue Gogeta super, which is kind of huge. They also will be debuffing Blue Gogeta, right, with their 12 key super. So if they're able to super attack first, they could potentially provide multiple debuffs, right? If they get three additional supers that's 60 percent attack lower which is really huge orange Piccolo doesn't actually have his guard here huh i guess that makes sense because we don't have we don't have another bottom ass under sample ally really hmm, interesting okay um we'll get this in here just because it's, it's kind of been a while since i've actually seen this blue good transformation we'll just grab these orbs first just in case and then let's transform him here Oh, 
Awesome. Okay, so we will just give you this, and then Blue Gogeta can grab all of these keysters. Perfect. All right, and then hopefully we see a super attack aimed at this guy right here. I really want to just see him get supered. We did debuff him a little, though. No super attack still, really? Man, that's annoying. Uh, okay, so that's the lowest attacks that we've seen from this guy. 12.8 mil. Definitely nothing crazy. If we do, Hopefully we do have a lot of int keysters next turn, though. I think that'd be really great to see. All right, we do finish them off right there. No stacks for God Goku, but not a big deal. I'd rather keep up the multiple turn. Um, what's it called? Thing going on there. Okay, so we will use the standby here. Yeah, for sure. Uh, there's not really a point in transforming the GT Duo. Yeah, we'll just we'll just keep it like this. So uh, we don't need to really play the animation here. We'll go ahead and grab that. Bam. There's no... Um, there actually was... No. Okay, I wonder if I should grab this with you. Keep you in... Uh, well, I could get Bulma support, right? So if I do this, I'll get three key from Bulma support. Yeah, that should be fine. And then that way I can grab much more physical key spheres with that. Yeah, we'll go ahead and grab this. We want to make sure we get as many physical key spheres as possible. So next turn, we're going to have to really hope that we get a lot, which won't really be impossible, but definitely not as many physical key spheres as before. I mean, obviously, this is double digits. Uh, I don't think we had to really question that at all. Um, we do have Orange Piccolo, though. So Orange Piccolo can reset the turn next turn because it's turn six for him. So again, we'll be able to get a lot of physical key spheres potentially next turn. If things do go well, uh, we do have a good amount of rainbow key spheres, but then we can still clear that rainbow key sphere cluster up once we exit the um, standby turn with orange piccolo. And then we'll collect many, many more key spheres. So I will skip the orange piccolo kind of phase because it, it's a, like it doesn't really matter uh, what orange piccolo is able to do. I wonder if uh, the GT, yeah, I sh maybe I should have exchanged these to Vegeta. Probably would have done less damage. Um, but I don't think there's a scenario where Orange Piccolo finishes this fight off, especially if I purposefully try to miss a lot of key. Um, and if he does, again, still not really crazy. Boma might get supered here, but I don't think it's going to be a thing that'll like kill us or anything. So we should be fine still. Yeah, she's actually debuffing him, which I think I, I like that quite a bit. The Bulma debuff on 12 key has provided to, has come to be actually useful in a lot of different scenarios past 2023 because they started letting us really, really lower these attack bosses, you know, attack specifically. Um, I said attack bosses attack their attack, right? We're able to lower, lower them a lot more commonly, which is a good thing. Yeah, look at all these physical key spheres we could just grab. That's absolutely beautiful. Actually, I'll grab all of this. Well, because, yeah, we'll grab all of these right here. Then let me try and grab all of these right here. Then again, now we get Orange Piccolo out. And then with this, we just basically just um, let's try to keep all the physical inky spheres. Again, I'm going to try and stall out here. And I'll come back once we, um, I guess, have all these key spheres collected. Hopefully, it'll only last for two turns because we're going to get very close here. And there we go. We are back with all of these physical key spheres. Beautiful. Look at all that. Yeah, uh, very, very good <laughs> to see something like that be possible. That we can get all these physical key spheres with Orange Piccolo too. Well, they didn't drop the ideal way, but look at, all, look at all that charges, dude. 115 charges. That's actually crazy. So we should be able to finish off the fight here uh at least this phase specifically then i think next turn what i'll do is i'll use the target skill with blue gogeta i'll put him slot one and then we'll keep collecting orbs until the very back and i guess we'll hope we will get a critical hit um we'll see what happens though right remember the target skill with blue gogeta does give him the guaranteed um the guaranteed dodge right in slot one so that's going to be really really good too all right, what you got here, buddy? Yeah, okay, cool. We definitely finished off with God Goku here. God Goku W. And yeah, because of God Goku there, we were able to generate so many of these physical orbs, dude. It's so crazy. Wow. That is going to be a lot of charges here um, with the Super Saiyan Goku. And imagine mine was like 30 crit or something. Uh, that would be really, really, really good. 
Unfortunately, we do have to crit if we really want to do good damage because of the fact that, uh, you know, Goku is not going to be super effective specifically when doing this attack. That's a lot of physical key spheres still. Uh, that's really, really good. So we'll make sure we use Blue Gogeta's active skill here. Bam. Um, oop. I would like to put the GT Duo in slot one. But unfortunately, I don't think that's going to really work out that well. And the reason why is because they'll probably... Yeah, uh, well... Mm, I might not even be able to use the support. Would they get one shot? Uh, it's not impossible to consider them getting one shot, huh? Okay. We will just grab all these, though. And now, we'll play this animation again, just because it's a really good animation. But we will actually get this out as well. Bam. Now we're getting 80% support. This is going to be a really, really, really big attack stat. Uh, no crit is so frustrating but we'll just keep going whatever we might get a crit later on in the video if i crit there that would have done so much damage uh we already we did two and a half health bars without a crit type disadvantage dude that is really crazy uh i don't think they take oh we he dodged anyways okay well that's fun um i probably could have gotten more orbs but it's fine so let's see what attacks that we might hit here. This should be a pretty nice attack stat. You know, it would be really cool if we see them take a super as well. If, th if they really want to have a super aim at them. We'll see what happens. Uh, Blue Gogeta could very well aim a super. Additional supers don't really matter besides debuffing them, which would be helpful, right? You know, if anything, I want to see could they live in this scenario. We have the revive up, so either way, we'll get into item run. Blue Gogeta's absolutely cooking here too, by the way. I think my Blue Gogeta is still 69%. Um, in part two, I'll be able to get him with more coins. Well, okay, yeah, look at him go crazy. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get a second dupe of this guy. Um, on this team, he's so much better because his base form is just going to be more tankier with the double support, right? So that's awesome. All right, what do they hit here? A 19.8 million attack stat from a one dupe version of this character that's providing multi-turn 77% support. Okay. Then do we get additional super anywhere? Or is it just the normals? Okay, we got one. I'll take that for sure. And to a 13 mil attack set basically. So that was what? 33 mil just off those two attacks alone right there. Yep. Cool. All right. Uh, they actually got one more. Wow. Okay. So that's actually another 13 mil. So instead of 33 mil, that is um 46 million attack. All in all, all super effective. Cool. All right, please super. Oh, wait, it doesn't matter, actually, because it's a target skill. Actually, yeah, <laughs> silly me. It's the target skill. I forgot about it. I actually would like to die here. Uh, The AOE kills them. It doesn't. They do. They think, dude, they took double digits because of the support. <laughs> what? This unit is supposed to die. They literally have like zero defense almost. This unit's intention is to die, and they took the AoE attack from Blue Gogeta. That's insane, man. Wow, okay. Um, I think we'll just move on to the next fight, which is probably going to be Blue Evolution Vegeta and Blue Kalkan Goku. The Blue Evolution Vegeta fight that's in the most recent Supreme Battle Spectacle. Alright, so we are back, and we're going to hop into the Blue Kalkan Goku and Evolution Vegeta fight, as stated. And you decided to bring a little tree of a character. I don't know if it's going to work well. But you can see I brought the AGL Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta. That was part of the worldwide celebration of... um, uh, It was 2022, right? So, okay. Not really the best in terms of the attacks that have to receive. Remember, this character does need to receive seven attacks for them to actually get the morale boost. I, I just want... This is just going to be a fun little thing I wanted to attempt here. And we'll see how well things go. Um, 
you know, though, 24 key, I'm not going to be able to get, which is not the worst thing in the world, not being able to get 24 key, but it does matter. It does make us lose out on a little bit of um potential key we could have. Unfortunately, the physical orb changing was not really too great. We can get the good amount of keys first for them, though. And then Blue Gogeta does not really need 24 key either. Uh, he himself is fine just getting the Rainbow Key Sphere. So we'll see what can happen with these guys there in slot one. Uh, we're going to have the multiple turn defense support starting from next turn as well. So we should be cooking. I think uh, things will start looking really, really good. And, you know, seeing what the Super Saiyan duo could do right here could be really interesting. So again, they want to get three supers and receive seven attacks or more in battle i uh i don't know how possible that's gonna be <laughs> but we'll see we're, we're just having fun um they're getting a lot of super attacks here though so we're putting in some really really nice damage keep in mind that um for the super saiyan goku and vegeta specifically they do only have the 40 percent reduction for the three turns right which is the kind of silly thing that they did for that character are they not gonna super attack you at all okay there it is i mean this should be very just be double digits we don't have the full 240% defense, but we have 210% still. Yeah. Even without the full passive, they still tank that very well. All right. So now these guys, um, they're just kind of here. <laughs> Honestly, they are really good linking partners, though, at the bare minimum, which is a good thing, right? Them being able to link very well here, which is one other reason why I'm like, you know, I'll go ahead and bring them. Why not? Right. Let's have fun. Um, Bulma next turn will also be able to provide some support. I believe Bulma is next turn, right? And then GT Duo is in slot 7. Yeah, okay. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Blue Gogeta here is going to get his little stack up. And if there is another super attack, I think Blue Gogeta will take very minimal damage. So that is also another major, major W in terms of this specifically. Um, we'll be all good to go, which is great, great, great. Um, let's take a look here. Yeah, so there is really no issue in terms of... I think we'll be fine with that Super Saiyan trio. I mean, so far, they've just been, like, like invincible slot one. Like, they're, they have literally zero issues with uh, slot one tanking at all, which is amazing, actually. Uh, we'll let God Goku stay here. Uh, I could float God Goku off, though, but no. We'll let God Goku stay here, and then we'll let Bulma grab... Uh, I mean, I would like to grab seven, but I guess we'll just have to stick with the five right here. Let's get the full 24 key. Just guys. Uh, there's no reason not to. All right, instant super attack for my 69% one. So this is pretty super with their full passive. Do they still take double digits or do they take a little bit of damage? They take 216k before they super, which I think is fair, right? From a three mil super attack right there, just turn one instantly. That is pretty fair all, in all honesty. Again, we do have Bulma support and the previous turn support still, but that's a really good tanking um, from these guys right here. So I definitely, great to see that right there. And then they are still doing some pretty decent damage themselves. I wonder if we're going to be able to get the six attacks with the Super Saiyan Goku and Vegeta. Is what I'm thinking of. <laughs> a little scared now um, that we might not be able to get all six attacks there, but it should be fine. Maybe I'll push some off rotation and we'll keep the GT Goku and Vegeta. If we can get them to receive four attacks, then we can get the standby. And that'll be really good too. All right, God Goku's cooking here. Uh, my goat, God Goku. I mean, the, the really, really good character, Super Saiyan God Goku, uh, for this team. Again, I, I said it already, but he's just aged well overall. Well, he didn't dodge here, so I think I died. <laughs> I actually think I do die here. Uh, which is, well, we might live. We do live. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, we lived because of the 30% uh, defense that the Super Saiyan True gives. Look, the amount of support that they give allowed this 2023 character to live the super attack uh that hits for three mil <laughs> when god goku would usually be a dodger die character and that's just that's the effect of how strong this team is i could use their standby instantly right here actually uh which is really cool because of the fact that um yeah we could we could use it instantly here they can't take seven attacks there's no way we could also use a standby so we'll do that we'll use the standby um, well, I want to choose that if I use the standby, I can't get the super attack effect boost. These guys could be in trouble. We'll grab this here. Let's just use the standby, though. Change all these in key spheres. That's pretty good. We'll grab. 
We'll get more physical key spheres here. We'll grab all these. Um, I don't know. We'll see. If I do die here, uh, it's not the end of the world for me personally. I think it'll be okay. I'd probably rather grab uh, the these key spheres specifically. Um, we'll see what happens. <laughs> we could use the standby skill instantly, though, which is going to be awesome next turn. Yeah, I think I'd rather, um, wait on it, because I think the Super Saiyan duo right there at the end should still be able to tank normals with the 40% damage reduction. It's just if a Super is aimed at them, they die, which I'm not going to blame them on. We'll just hop back in and we'll get this again. Um, will be the biggest deal in the world if that does happen. I mean, I do expect him to super attack somewhere in the turn, though. GT Duo might still take a lot of damage. But we did get, uh, we got 10, we got 11 key spheres, right? 10 or 11. So it's the same amount of defense support anyways. Oh, dude, he's really going to super them at the end. That is actually kind of annoying. <laughs> he's just going to super them at the end. Unless they decide not to super attack at all, which is definitely not an impossible thing to consider, that they just won't super attack at all. One more super would be cool here uh they do get it okay because that does actually give them a little bit of a defense boost right there so we definitely will take that um but enough this character also does great lower attack it might be good for blue gogeta right now on this team that double digits please do not super please do not super please do not super please do not super do not no 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 dodge ah oh, yeah they're dead though yeah okay uh we'll hop back in uh 40 percent reduction is not enough they took only 600k though that's pretty good we'll take them off the team though all right, so we have them both in the same rotation here, which is okay, right? We'll definitely take that. Uh, Bulma chains all the physical keys first. That's fantastic, Bulma. That's fine. She'll give enough support anyways. Okay, yeah, we'll just keep mine right there. We'll let Bulma grab these seven key spheres, and then the Super Saiyan trio could easily get 24 key. Looking pretty good. We'll probably skip the next rotation. I did bring Transforming Vegeta, though. Uh, Transforming Vegeta actually does link up pretty well with these guys. He does share five links, and he does not count for their category restriction is the only real thing I could think of, right? But we do have, like, a bunch of different characters that will count as the category restriction. Actually, I think earlier I said God Goku counts as movie heroes. He does not. He's a superheroes character, actually. Wait, no, he is movie heroes, actually. No, my bad. Because um, his animations are from the movie, right? Let me double check that. Because he should be a movie hero's character, right? If I'm not mistaken, physical god Goku, where's this boy at? He's movie heroes though. He is okay, never mind. So I am right. Silly old me. Um, I was like, wait, you know, is he not movie heroes? But no, he is. Uh, because he was. He does get his animations from the movie specifically, which is a good thing. All right, cool, Bulma. And um, after this, we'll just skip to the next rotation. 18 mil right there, huh? Yeah, they are getting the 50% attack still um, from the Super Saiyan tree on the first slot, right? They don't support themselves. But um, if there's another one on rotation, then that other one will support them, if that makes sense, right? <clears throat> okay, and we're also getting mobile support as well. So that's like gonna just make it really, really nasty. <laughs> yeah, these guys are just uh, really good. I mean, the fact that AGL, Super Saiyan, Goku, and Vegeta we're able to tank normals and if we're at full health we would have lived the super attack right there they had the ability to tank a super attack on this team with the support that's kind of crazy is it not like the fact that they could live a super attack on this team i mean they would take a majority of her health but they would live and i mean we kind of we all know how that character is so i'll just skip this rotation and we're just going to go to the next rotation specifically and we'll see how things go from there. All right, so Blue Gogeta took a super last turn, and uh, we'll use this opportunity, considering that there's a lot of um, in orbs on the field, to go ahead and get this standby out here. Bam. Uh, lots of physical orbs there. GT Duo, unfortunately, is on the other rotation, but not the biggest deal ever. Um, we'll get all this with God Goku, then eight Boma can grab. I want to get five with Bulma. I'm a little worried about Bulma dying. So I will, for the sake of the video, we'll use a ten screen. Just so to make, to make sure we can keep going, right? I think that'd be best case scenario. I also pushed off Bulma 
just so that we could still be fine. Yeah, okay, super right there, but they could still super us in the other rotation, right? God, Goku, you know, I've realized Blue Gogeta's coming around. Um, he relies on his dodge ability, right? Okay, maybe I didn't bring the best built team for this, thinking about Blue Gogeta being here. Orange Piccolo, I could have brought him and then maybe get another bottom mass and sample character here. But then I guess I would put another bottom mass and sample character instead of Tech Vegeta would probably be the move because unfortunately well, i mean obviously we're not going to kill here right though blue gogeta could still potentially live normals like as long as we're able to get him like his rainbow key sword for the additional super and god goku six key spheres i think they could both live normals blue gogeta also has the 70 percent chance to counter key blast supers right even disregarding dodge so that's going to be a good thing cool 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 all right, Boma is doing her thing here. Nice, nice, nice. The double super is nice. We did not get the seven key spheres, but this will allow her to tank better, which definitely love to see that. And uh, yeah, Goku did not get as many key spheres as last time for the double turn mega support, but we're still looking good here. Um, I'll keep GT Goku. And, should I keep GT Goku and Vegeta here? Probably will. I actually might put them in slot one. And the reason why I put them in slot one here is just so that they can make sure they get all the hits needed. And, you know, even in slot one, they could be decent. They don't, when they have the full reduction, right? No, they don't have the full damage reduction, right? So that could be an issue. Um, but we should be fine still for the most part. Like, they don't, they're not going to get one shot for 700k damage here in the first slot. That's literally not happening. But they do take the four hits here. They take a lot of damage, so regardless. Ouch! <laughs> that is definitely so a lot. Um,. Uh, I, you know, I should have gathered my key better last turn, huh? Because I don't think we got really... I don't think I, I optimized getting the most amount of key this turn specifically. <clears throat> is an issue I did. Oh, well, it's fine. Uh, we could still get the one shots. Well, it's not going to be a one shot right there next turn, but it's going to do a lot of damage. I mean, the issue is that my Goku specifically doesn't have a lot of crit building, and we've been just getting in the space to use my goku's ability maybe i, sh I should have probably just waited to use the uh friends right here huh instead of my goku's that probably would have been better overall huh just because we have the gt duo in this specific rotation here dang that's what i should have done oh well, that's fine um we could still get a lot here still but we're gonna stick with 59 i think 59 is still a good thing to see so let's go ahead and play this Now, one good thing is that he'll change more physical key spheres out here. Perfect. Okay, awesome. Actually, Blue Gogeta could heal us as well. Great. That's really, really good. I'm going to make sure I grab the physical key spheres first, though. Wait, oh, dang, I messed up. That's not 24 key. Uh, I guess we're resetting everything. All right, we're back again. Uh, you're going to see the punch again. Sure. Why not? Why not? Not a big deal. This is just so cool. It looks so good. I, I'm sorry. I just I, I always want to show up if I can. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to get the KO screen. Just really thinking about it. Uh, we'll make sure we grab all those. That'll heal us more anyways. We'll get the this amount of key spheres with you. Then Blue Gogeta will heal us. And we should be all good to go. I don't really think that there's going to be an issue. All right. Perfect. 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 Let's see now. Hopefully we do get supered right here in the first slot. That'd be ideal. I think he only has like a what? <clears throat> like a certain percentage chance to super specifically. Well, obviously every boss does. I think it's I'm more so like 17% or something. If I'm not mistaken. Like 17% rather than like 25% or something like that. Like some of these um some of these do. Okay. Let's see. If he's gonna super us here we're getting lucky with the additional supers 50 percent chances man if they do proc your way i mean for a support unit we'll take this right for sure all right goku let's see what you got buddy no super attack yet please yes okay perfect there we go now that not only means the other two characters are safe that means that we're gonna see this guy take double digits from one of the hardest hitting supers in the game yep there we go that's pretty simple Fair and easy. Fair and balanced, right? <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty good, man. All right, God Goku. I mean, he's. I think God Goku takes double digit normals here, too. Again, because he's getting the super attack boost. And 
double 13 mil? Not bad. Or actually, it might be only this one that was 13 mil. I didn't actually read the attacks after the first one. He does get an attack boost after so many supers. Yeah, he's double digits here. Blue Gogeta should also take double digits in this specific scenario. That's just because there's so much support, dude. Like, 154% support in the passive alone, counting both of them, is just like... It's, it's actually obscene. Like, these characters would not take these normals, usually, if not for that. And that's huge. <laughs> it's the fact that you could use these years old units and they're actually relevant now just shows the power and effect of these guys right you know again a lot of people are saying these guys could be one i still want to use them more because there's a thing of beast gohan at the end of the day is able to protect i think you know any range of character because of the fact that he has probably does he have an overall better leader skill? Potentially, but it's like these guys will consistently help the, them on every single rotation, not just a specific spot, right? We'll go ahead and use this. Uh, why not? And then we'll keep them untransformed just because I don't think we're going to have the opportunity to throw another blast out. Well, we could, but I think it, it could end up in us dying anyway. So we'll just make sure we do this. We'll grab that, and then we'll let Bulma get key spheres at field as well. What is our defense start of turn here? 312k. Not link level 10, unfortunately. Yeah, a lot of people just haven't link leveled these guys all the way just yet, which I'm not going to blame them, but that's a 21 mil attack stat. Pretty sick. <laughs> yeah. Um, considering the additionals, I should, I should point out, considering the additionals and the super effective guarantee, um, and the fact that they're like making 2022 units relevant in 2024 well i would relevant is is a little bit of a stretch but like usable like gen genuinely usable in the most difficult 2024 battles it's crazy actually crazy um and vegeta here if he dies we could see the spirit bomb finish i mean i seen we saw last time vegeta tanked the gogeta blues aoe <laughs> before he even supered um because of the support that's being provided. So will normals even kill this guy? I don't even know if normals will kill. Like, even with type disadvantage. Oh no, it still does, okay. <laughs> Maybe I should chill a little. I, I should chill a little bit. Uh, I think I have to skip on though, unfortunately. So it's gonna just skip through. That's okay though. Um, Does not kill right there. Fine, 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 fine with me. We could actually get Vegeta out. Why not? We'll, we'll use all these. Let's go ahead and play the animations too. Why not? Vegeta is getting 50% attack here. We'll let him get the final kill. Why not? Because he hasn't really done much in this match overall. And we should be good here. And we'll just move on to the Goku and Frieza fight after. That'll be the last fight we showcase in this video. Uh, what attacks that we hear? A 14 mil attacks that 79% Vegeta. Again, we're getting Bulma support. And then we're getting the 50% attack support from the Super Saiyans. Oh, we got another one. One more, please. Super. Yes, perfect. Into a 15 mil. There we go. Vegeta, yeah, Vegeta is still really good, and he works really well on this team still. God Goku only needs six super class characters for the intro, so there is, uh, oh, is it five? Either five or six. Either way, there is wiggle room to have, like, one extreme class or two extreme class characters on the team, because God Goku will still catch the intro, but anyways, let's move on next to the Goku and Frieza fight. All right, here we are for the last portion of this video, which is the Goku and Frieza fight here. Uh, I think we have some pretty good looking rotations, so we're just going to keep going exactly like this. We should be able to get 24 key here. Yep, perfect. We'll do that, and then we'll let LR Bulma grab this. There we go. Very, very nice to see. Okay, 
So, um, they should take double digits from this. Like, I, I don't think it's going to do damage, um, pretty much at all. Ooh, they take a little bit. 77k, but being fair, they are tied to cemented, so I'm not really going to hold it against them too bad. All right, uh, we have the, the, the super attack animation looks really, really good. I just still can't get over it. Hopefully we get normals here. Perfect. Okay, because I want GT Duo to get as many super attacks as possible. Fortunately, the five additional did come in right there, which, you know, we have seen the you know five additional come in quite a bit overall. So, you know, it makes a lot of sense to not really give these guys additionals in the first place, because each additional could proc off of um, could proc the hidden potential system one. So. That's a thing there. Fortunately, no second super. Hopefully we get two more super attacks would be ideal just to build up at least to 30% damage reduction. That'd be really good for us. Bulma's floating around. So worst case scenario, we can we can keep Bulma on the other rotation. Not gonna be ideal, but we can keep her there if push comes to shove, right? All right, cool. Bulma should be able to finish the job here. And GT Duo do take two attack, which will help build up to get their standby on turn five i guess it'd be their fifth turn we'll see how things go uh one turning this phase very common and i think it's a good thing just so that we can keep moving forward all right so the 17 phase i'm actually fine with keeping the rotations just like this yeah well we can keep them like just like this that's okay so i cannot get a lot of key here unfortunately we need to really make sure we get the six key with god goku I think that is really important in itself. If I could do this and then that did not bring them all down the way I wanted to. Dang, that's very, very, very unfortunate. Because mm. I would really like the guard. Because it's so weird to bring down the physical orbs correctly. Dang, let me... um. Obviously, it, oh, gotta go because of what that's locked, right? Um, because I can't, I don't want to rely on God Goku's dodge. So let me reset and try to bring down the orbs a better way. Okay, I grabbed those two red orbs right there. Then we got this. Now, this should get six key. Yeah, okay, there we go. Uh, we did it right. I, I just did it the other way instead, which you know did work out here. I guess the good thing is that Orange Piccolo is taking some hits here, uh, which will allow him to build up, right? Orange Piccolo is getting a lot of support here, so he should actually be okay against this super. Yeah, 288k, definitely not bad. Not good, right? Yeah, that's, a, that's more damage than I would like, but that's not bad at all. Uh, these guys are not super effective here, but they will still get the two additional attacks, luckily, because of the fact that we hit at least 18 key. So it'll just be a little bit of extra damage we can go ahead and push through. Perfect, this extra additional did come in clutch. Then we have God Goku coming to the other rotation, which he'll be able to start giving the physical key spheres to the other Super Saiyan Goku. I'm probably going to use the... Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to use the standby with my Super Saiyan Goku specifically. Is kind of the idea I'm going to go through with, but we'll see how things go. You know, maybe I should have put the Super Saiyan Goku in slot 1. I don't know. Because, um... If I get locked again, the next rotation is going to be a little troublesome. But I should be fine, though. I think I think it'll be okay. All right, so this guy's cooking here. Perfect. Yeah, I think I'm going to use the standby next turn, and then we could try and nuke both the next phase and the final phase. Yeah, because by the time it ends, we should be able to use it again with the friends. Uh, locked the GT duo. Very unfortunate there, but that's okay. We will start to gather orbs here. Um, let's get this out of here. Bam. Changes those in orbs up there. We'll grab all of these with you. We will give you all these physical orbs. And then I think these will still give more orbs overall than grabbing the physical ones. That's fine though. All right. Now Blue Evolution Vegeta probably will do some pretty good damage here as well. So we'll definitely take that. I guess the only issue is that we won't really have a lot of support, but it's not going to be the end of the world. I'm thinking let's go ahead and try and finish off this int phase which i actually don't think is going to happen this turn probably going to happen the turn after which is okay it's okay with me right we'll, we'll definitely take what we can what we can do for sure i do want to keep orange piccolo next rotation though like ideally what happens is orange piccolo gets locked in slot two and then we just blow off bulma oh actually we will have bulma support huh 
that's at least going to be good. We'll have Bulma's offensive support for the next turn because it is two turns, right? So that's good to see. Um, no, I don't think the GT duel here do finish it off. He'll barely be alive, which is okay with me. Um, we could try. Yeah, we we need Orange Pickle locked in slot two. That's the only way that um it will be fine for the most part, really. Yeah, even with one more. No, please log orange piccolo. If not, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use the um the good old sensor bean here. <laughs> Let's just not even worry about this. We'll go ahead and we'll actually put orange piccolo in the first slot in case he does not kill. Because if he doesn't kill, then that's gonna be really good. We'll get this and then buy right here. Perfect. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. I don't think Orange Piccolo kills here. It's, it's 11 mil. If he crits, he will. My Orange Piccolo is still full crit built, right? So that's that makes sense, right? Uh, just do not crit, and we're good. Ah, uh, you did crit. Okay. So he didn't take those attacks that would have been useful to take. You know, in fact, Super Saiyan Trio did not get the two-turn defense raise as well. That, that, that didn't happen to you. Dang it. Okay. That really sucks. Um, Bulma getting the key did hurt us in the long run. <laughs> okay, so we will keep things like this i think right yeah we'll just do this i i want to grab all those orbs with blue evolution maybe but blue evolution well we have the revive we could do this grab all these orbs give them to blue evolution just for all the extra charges yeah and if anything the revive activates i think that is worth it that is that is definitely worth it. So we'll go ahead and get this off. That was a really strong critical hit right there. Nice to see. We will grab all these, then. We can get these six and then we'll grab those in orbs down there and we could potentially change the in orbs next turn awesome yeah i think blue evolution vegeta will be fine and that also was with bulma's support too i don't think we kill next turn or i guess i should say i don't think we kill this turn no i think we should be fine um well it's not a zero that percent chance that we kill this turn if the super saiyan do like trio in the middle get a bunch of crits we could kill next turn huh yeah, Blue Evolution Vegeta is really showing off here. Ideally, we don't actually, though. And then we get the uh, standby out. I think the, uh, yeah, getting that standby out next turn before anything would be good. Blue Evolution Vegeta should live this as well, by the way. I don't really see that he's going to die. I would have I would have liked to put Super Saiyan Tree on the first slots. I think they would have lived this, though. Blue Evolution Vegeta double digits right there. A lot of that is because of the support the Super Saiyan Tiro is giving, by the way. Like, their support is pretty massive in the long run of things, so that's a good thing. Alrighty. Um, we should be good after this, yeah. I don't, I, I don't, no, I don't think God Goku is going to give the, like, extra push to finish this guy off. I think we should be relatively safe. Bam. Yeah, the, that common how looks so good. They're getting all these supers though, man. They are cooking for sure. God Goku can't dodge, but I think he should still be fine in slot three. I, I would assume he could tank the normals, especially just since it's a turn one Goku and Frieza. I guess I can't say 100%. If God Goku like triple supers, triple crits, then he does kill here. Um, But no, no, there's no way now. Especially if, even if he gets two more supers that crit, he does not have the damage to finish these guys off, which is awesome to me i think that is really really good uh mm, i guess the one thing that sucks is that we can't really take advantage of orange piccolo's orb changing because orange piccolo would kill right that's the that's the one issue but eh, it'll be okay it'll be okay still that's like yeah because if we had orange piccolo's or uh ability to use the giant form we would get a lot of extra orbs here but unfortunately um orange piccolo would 100 percent well if we could avoid supers, I think it's like possible. I guess he wouldn't kill, but oh, GT Duo also is not getting hit enough, so we need to put him in slot one, huh? Okay, so let me grab 
These with you. Bam. Well, I should have used a standby first. Whatever. It's fine. We'll change all these. Awesome. And then I guess just in case. Well, I want GTO to get it. Whatever. We'll just do this. It'll be okay. Um, It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Bam. Yeah, you're taking a little bit of damage there. But that should be four hits for sure now. And now they'll get the rest of their damage reduction, etc, etc. And we will be cooking after this turn. I will put Super Saiyan Tree on slot one though. And the reason why I'm going to put them on slot one, mine anyways, is because I want to see what they take from the super attack here. I think that'll be very interesting to see. We have Boma's support as well that we can go ahead and take advantage of too. We'll grab this. Yeah, because that'll give a full field of orbs. This entire field of orbs for the standby skill. That's going to be crazy, isn't it? All right. Um... Let's see how much they take from here. Uh, this is going to be Goku and Frieza before their full buff. 69% Goku, Trunks, and Gohan. Let's see. Do you live this or do you activate his revive? Let's see this. Yeah. <laughs> 66k? Type disadvantage? Again, that's with Bulma support still, but... 66k is crazy! <laughs> Dude, uh, well, they don't need the damage cap there, but that is the one dupe version, right? Wow. That's, that's a lot, dude. That's, that's pretty insane. <laughs> it's funny seeing them not hit the damage cap, though. Okay, um, what I'll probably do after this is we'll probably just skip to the next rotation. Because, I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll just skip to the next rotation. What about that? All right, we're back again. Um, we're going to get the GT Duo active skills roll here, huh? Um, not a lot of physical orbs, so we'll just go ahead and use this standby. Bam. Uh, I wonder if they will get more links. Is there any other links that we can get with Super Saiyan Goku? No, just Sea Fighters. Okay, let's use this again, though. 71 charges with the Bulma support, GT, Vegeta support, everything like that. What What is this build for this goku full crit nice awesome yep very fair and balanced i don't think goku and frieza have their full attack buff here by the way but uh yeah uh we will just give him all this GT Vegeta can grab that, and then God Goku can get this, and we win! Yeah, we just win, pretty much. There's like, they don't get killed by this, because this is the pre-attack, right? Um, so they should be fine. This will be probably more damage than last turn still. Oh, they died. <laughs> they do actually die here, huh? Okay. I wonder... Oh, you know what? A big difference is the uh, super attack effects. We did not have the 50% defense from the previous turn, plus Bulma's active skill support again. That is very huge. That that does make a difference, right? Did we miss anything else? No, that was it from what I'm understanding, right? Because we just had um, Blue Evolution Vegeta. Didn't really provide any extra defense links. It was really that extra super attack effect, huh? That really made a difference right there, plus Bulma's support. Also, probably did a lot. It's an active skill, 18% buff, so that is uh, kind of crazy, but... Anyways, uh, that is the Super Saiyan Goku. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the KO screen in this video. Um, maybe if I'm editing, I'll put the KO screen like right here. If not, then uh, it is what it is. Anyways, let me know what you guys think of them. They might be the best unit in the game. I'm going to get some more testing with them to make sure I think that. Let me know, again, where you would rank them. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.